For more on the growing 2024 GOP field, let's bring in our newest ABC News contributor, former Republican Congressman John Katko of New York. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. First, let me just get your reaction to former Governor Christie jumping into this race and, and whether you think that he has a viable shot at winning over GOP voters. Well, uh, I think the conventional wisdom is that the more uh, competitors for the uh, President Trump, the better it helps him. But I think that's two, 2016 logic. I think this race is going to be wide open and there's a long way to go. And let's not forget back in two, six, 2016 around this time, President Trump was in the single digits himself. So uh, there's a long way to go. I think anybody has a shot. And there's an awful lot of things that uh, President Trump has to overcome from a legal standpoint. Uh, and he's got to convince American people that uh, he, he's worth, he gets another shot at the apple. He's already had two. Uh, we'll see going forward. Uh, the Republican field, as you know, grows larger by the day with former VP Pence announcing tomorrow. Uh, but former President Trump is still the front runner. It sounds like you're saying that you think that, uh, that this large field won't necessarily help Trump gain the nomination again, as it did in 2016. Yeah, it's not 2016. In 2016, nobody knew who President Trump was from a, a political standpoint. They knew him, the person, the entertainer. And I think uh, people were ripe for real change in 2016. And he brought that. And he brought a lot of, lot of change to America. The question is whether they want to accept him again with all the baggage that has resulted since that time. And there's a lot of strong candidates. Uh, Tim Scott is going to be a very strong candidate. Nikki Haley is going to be a very strong candidate. Chris Christie is going to be chirping loudly and eloquently, because he's a former prosecutor like me, about some of the reasons why you shouldn't vote for Trump. So there's a lot more punch coming this time than there was, was last time, in my opinion. You were one of a handful of Republicans to vote to impeach Trump over the events of January 6th. He now faces multiple looming legal challenges. Do you think that those legal challenges could actually derail Trump, or do you think that many Republican voters will stand by him as they've done so far? I think many Republican voters, his base is not going to abandon him because of legal challenges. Uh, but I think uh, his base is not the only thing that's going to put him in the Oval Office. He's going to have to convince moderates, swing voters, if he gets a nomination. And that's where the trouble lies for him. And that's what I think the rest of the uh, primary season is going to have to weigh out. Is he too damaged to win a general, even if we like him? And that's got to be a factor that people consider going through this primary process. I just want to put you on the spot here. A moment ago, you said that, that you think that, that Tim Scott and Nikki Haley will be potentially viable candidates. Didn't mention Mike Pence. I don't know if that was an omission in, in, intentionally. Uh, do you think that he has a chance? Well, it's, it's not an omission intentionally, but he's got to catch fire, and, they, and all of them have to catch fire. Uh, you know, they have to have their moment, and they have to seize that moment. And, and less than until that happens, you gotta, you, you've got um, you to wait and see. Like I said, though, this is an awfully long race. This is a year and a half away from really uh, where the rubber hits the road. So we've got a long way to go before uh, anything happens. The debates are coming up soon. They're going to start, uh, it'll, that'll start winnowing out the field. But people are going to be uh, in this race until the votes really start happening next year. And then if and when they start happening, I think we'll really see what's going on. But there's going to be a lot of jockeying between now and then. But make no mistake about it. Uh, being an early front runner doesn't mean you're going to win the race. You can, right. The, the history is littered with front runners that did not finish the race. And, and I know that we are a long way away. Just humor me for a moment, if you would. If Trump sure. were to stumble, who do you think at this particular moment may be best positioned to emerge from the remaining GOP field, uh, which currently is being led by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis? Well, DeSantis is certainly a, a viable option. He's done a wonderful job in Florida, to most people's opinion, not everyone's. Uh, you have Tim Scott, who's an eminently likable and very successful person who's got a great story. Uh, Nikki Haley, who did a terrific job as governor and also uh, at the United Nations. So you've got some very strong candidates and some that may emerge. But uh, right now, I think there's some pretty potent uh, opposition out there. And it'll still come to the fore and it'll, it'll be a good snot knocker, as they say. Uh, and we'll see what happens going forward. All right. Former Congressman John Katko, we thank you so much for your time and welcome sure. to the ABC News family. Happy to be here. It's an honor. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.